And this is our famous tour in color of my Betamax library. What I'll show you is how I organize and collect my tapes, how I categorize them, and you'll also see tape by tape what movies and TV shows I have in my Betamax collection as of today, October 30th, 1978. First of all, some people think these are used to hold 30 pounds of tomatoes. Well, they're wrong. These are used to hold 24 Betamax tapes <laughs> because each box up here holds exactly <laughs> 24 Betamax tapes, as you see. Okay, this is the way that I organize the collection. Each tape has got a Dymo label on it with different color codes. TV shows such as this or this one over here are on a blue Dymo label tape. If I tape the show myself and I know, know when it was taped, I put the date down here on a smaller label in green. Movies are in red, and again, if I taped it here myself or a friend taped it, the date is in green. When I get a dub from somebody else and I don't know when it was taped, such as King Kong here from 1933, the label is centered on the Betamax label. So we have blue for TV shows, red for movies, and over here, any special tapes like Ray and Gary on camera and my Star Trek bloopers are on a green label. This goes for the whole collection. The only other difference is if I have a tape that's on the X2 speed, I put a small 2 up here in the upper left-hand corner, and this way I can look at the tape from a distance and see that it is, in fact, on the X2 speed and won't play back on an X1 machine. And this is really it. So we're going to fade to black now in a couple seconds, and then we'll come back up on a tape-by-tape -tape tour of the Ray Glasser Library. Okay, we're now in the corner, way back to June of 1976 when this whole adventure began. The first 17 tapes as of today are miscellany. This is graphics, slides, news sets, news shows, uh, hard to get things that I just can't put on other tapes, whether uh, if it's because they're too long or whatever. So we have a whole collection of miscellany tapes. This is my Mission Impossible series. Five tapes right now, and the pilot is number 20, the first in the series. Each one has a different cast. The Tomorrow Show with uh, Star Trek, a manic show from 1968 or so. And now we go up to some movies. This Island Earth, a classic sci-fi movie. Original Phil Silver show, The Honeymooners. And some of the best quality tapes in my collection. The entirety of the NBC first 50 years from November of 1976. And now we go to the Star Trek collection. 12 Star Treks, most of which are uncut off TV from a station in Mississippi. On the second level, starting with tape 49, we're now in January of 1977. These are more or less in chron chronological order as I've taped them. Genesis 2, another Gene Roddenberry production. Here's Westworld off TV and Future World Uncut off cable TV. Search, the pilot for the Probe and Search TV series. DI, black and white with Jack Webb. Time Tunnel, very hard to get movie or TV show. The original Airport, original Kung Fu. English Import, Journey to the Far Side of the Sun, and my favorite, a CinemaScope copy of Forbidden Planet Uncut. Here we have some local news from Cleveland, taped in 1977, City Camera News, followed by Walter Cronkite and the CBS News. Uncut Voice to the Bottom of the Sea, pilot movie, plus a couple TV shows, including the pilot. Bug, Uncut Off Cable TV. Very hard to get TV show called Star Lost from Canada. Wild Wild West pilot, they're number 96, the first Planet of the Apes movie. And here we have The Night Stalker and The Night Strangler, two made-for-TV movies. King Kong from 1933. Psycho, a classic Hitchcock. And, of course, When TV w Was Young from CBS from April of 1977. There's The Invaders, the first being the pilot episode Beachhead, followed by the second and third shows. Ray and Gary on camera from May of 77. Number 100, the first milestone. A couple classic TV shows there. Jack Benny, that's Hollywood. Superman. Most of this case is Superman and the Twilight Zone. Some of these are film chains, some of them are off TV. There's our first 750 from Sears from St. Louis, Missouri for only $21, and that's seven TV shows on the X2 speed on that one tape. whole bunch of Twilight Zones here, and from HBO, The Omen. Next case is James Bond, all of them, four of which are uncut. There's the first one, Dr. No, off TV, followed by From Russia With Love, also off TV. Goldfinger Uncut, film chain copy. Thunderball off TV. You Only Live Twice off TV. And right now on Her Majesty's Secret Services off TV, we hope to have an uncut cut copy coming in someday. 
Diamonds Are Forever off TV, uncut copy on the way. Next three are uncut, Live and Let Die, Man with the Golden Gun, and of course, The Spy Who Loved Me. The Time Machine, Earth vs. Flying Saucers, all taken off TV. A hot one, Star Wars, not a bad print. We hope to get better someday. Classic comedy, Blazing Saddles, uncut off cable TV, as well as The Exorcist, also off cable. Drive-In, a classic movie, also off cable. Casablanca with Bogey. And an uncut copy of the Poseidon Adventure with Cinemascope bars. War of the Worlds, an X1 to X1 Betamax dub, as well as The Incredible Shrinking Man. It's classic TV, Armist Brooks and the Millionaire from Chicago. The Tonight Show, 16th anniversary. Man with the X-ray eyes, Jim Novotny's favorite film. And some more TV shows there. Almost the whole case of The Outer Limits. There's a pilot of the galaxy being, as well as some other classic Outer Limits shows. UFO, very hard show to get. 181 is the pilot. Here's some more old TV shows. Man from Uncle, hard to get show. The Fugitive series. The first, two middle episodes, and the two part ending, plus my cube sampler. And now we go down to the bottom and the newest stuff. My favorite movie, Pan and Scan off CBS, Forbidden Planet. Missiles of October, an ABC made for TV movie from 1974. The Prisoner series, the first two middle episodes and the last. To Serve with Love, off TV, Burns and Allen. Hawaii Five-0, where Chin gets killed. A made-for-TV Irwin Al Allen movie, City Beneath the Sea. CBS on the air, nine hours condensed down to four and a half. Mary Tyler Moore, first and last show. And, of course, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the best print in the world. The original Frankenstein from 1931. The New King Kong from 1976, off home box office uncuts. The Parent Trap, a classic 1961 Disney movie. What's missing? <laughs> We're missing the first hour of Oh God, okay. It's somewhere around here, folks. Pit in the Pendulum and the Man. Thank you very much. Okay. The library's now complete, okay. All righty, now we go back to 1957 for Ozzy and Harriet. David and Ricky were still kids. This is the SL8200 Betamax demo tape made by Sony. TV copy of The Birds. Some of these, by the way, are now on X2, such as The Birds, The Clone Master, taped off NBC in September of 78. Uh, Animal House, we won't talk about that. There's our first Sony L750 with a Battle Battlestar Galactica, the first three-hour movie on it, as well as the show of The Avengers, Andromeda Strain, and an uncut copy of Failsafe. And finally, the last couple items here, Pink Flamingos, the worst, grossest, and sleaziest movie ever made, followed by Houlihan and Big Chuck, which is a local uh, Cleveland bit. Here are my uh, Betamaxes, by the way. That's my SLO320 right there, the industrial machine, which is almost portable, which is making this tape right now. And next to that is my Zenith X1, X2, which will someday be phased out and converted to an X2-only machine. Okay, down there is my original SL7200, the first Betamax made for home use. And over there is a borrowed Zenith X2, which you can barely see. Okay, I guess that just about does the whole thing. Ray Glasser in Living Color in October of 1978 with my library. We finally got it done. So this is what I look like. These are my tapes. Thanks for putting up with us. And from the snow belt of the, of the nation, Cleveland, Ohio, so long. Take care.